Hi, we're going to talk about how to get a hard drive working that just doesn't seem to be recognized by a computer. This is assuming the hard drive is not actually bad. If, that, if it is actually bad, this process will probably reveal that. But occasionally what happens is you, you go and buy a new hard drive and it's been wiped and uh, hasn't been formatted. And when you put it in your computer and try to install an OS, it just doesn't show up. Or you just put it in your computer and it just doesn't show up. And you don't really know what to do. Um, a lot of times it just works, but other times it's just like, well, give me something, computer. I'm going to show you what you basically need to do to get it working in that case. Uh, this happens with Windows installs sometimes too. If you get a new hard drive, you pop it in there and you just start trying to install Windows, and Windows just won't see your hard drive. It's kind of a weird thing. I'm surprised they haven't like fixed or done something about it yet, but uh, here's what you do. All right, so you got the hard drive. This is one that is of that case where it, it just doesn't show up. It's just like nothing happens. And you need something to mount the hard drive. You can actually uh, like shut down your computer and hook it up to your desktop or something as a secondary hard drive. Or you can get something like this here, uh, Black X, that just mounts hard drives. There's a million different tools and things you can buy off Amazon and eBay and whatnot to mount hard drives externally. So this is just an external mount that I'm using. And let's see here. So... Um, my monitor screen's down there, that's why I keep looking down. So what you do is, well, with the black X, the way it mounts is you just pop it in there. And then you turn on the black X. And now if the hard drive already has a volume and is already set up, it'll usually pop up and ask you what you want to do. Or you can go to your my computer, which I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and make my face a little smaller now. All right, here we go. You open up your folder, you go to this PC. I'm on Windows 10 here. And there's my three hard drives in my computer, but this new one isn't showing up. This one here is just not showing up. So what you need to do is go to your start menu. You can't see my start menu. Let me drag it up for a second. And type in disk management and you'll find this in the control panel create and format hard disk partitions and you open that up and this right away sees it and says you must initialize disk before local disk management can access it so it's not initialized and you can just hit ok here and it'll do it that's generally what will happen so suddenly I'll scroll I'll make this bigger here so if you've never used this before, basically it gives you a little list up here. And down here is all your disks. So there's my three that are hooked up. I don't want to mess with those. Those are all fine. But here's the new one that's plugged in. 111.79 gigabytes. That's right. It's a 120 gigabyte SSD. So it's got an unallocated amount here. So now that it's initialized, it will actually work. You can, you can go um, connect it to your laptop or whatever and start installing something. And now it will be seen. But... Often those installers for installing an OS, they won't be able to do the initial initialization. So it needs initialized, and you can do it this way. I usually just go ahead and make a quick volume just to confirm that everything works. And I end up reformatting with the install anyway. But there we go. It seems to be fine. If you want to check it further, you can go back to, to this area, and you can right-click on it, go to Properties, and go to tools and then check and you can check it for errors scan your drive so you might want to do that too if you want to be sure that it doesn't have any problems and there you go now you can go use your drive as intended and not be mysteriously confused as to why it never shows up hope you enjoyed this video give it a like if you did and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tech stuff thanks again and goodbye